Hey guys, Jacob Scott, Lorance product expert. Today we're out here on the water and I'm gonna show you how to connect your power poles to your TI2 using the Bluetooth settings in the unit. Okay guys, the first thing you wanna do, if you haven't already done it, press your pages button. Then we're gonna press settings and we're gonna go down to wireless. Now, as you can see here, my Bluetooth is turned off, so we're going to turn the Bluetooth on, and it's going to take a minute to initialize. Now that it's initialized, we go to Bluetooth options, and as you can see, it's going to find the power poles. So we'll go ahead and select the power pole, and we're going to pair it, and then we're going to select the next power pole and pair it since we have two power poles on here. Okay, now you can see both of my power poles show up as paired devices. Now that you have your power poles paired with your unit, we can see in the down scan, we got our power pole bar on the right hand side of the screen. So we give that a touch. You can see they light up port and starboard. So the cool thing is you can run them individually or if you just push that little chain link right there, it links them together. And when you do that, if I hit auto, it automatically puts them both up or puts them both down. If I unlink it, I can do them individually. I could raise the port and lower the port and do the same with the starboard. I can raise it up. or we can lower it. Okay guys, so that's how you connect your power poles to your TI2 and that's how you use them. Um, it's really handy, it's a really great feature to use. It means you don't have to have controllers all over the boat to use your power poles. Very convenient. Don't forget, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and then right up here just above my head you see that subscribe box. Give that a little click and you'll get tips like this every week.